Welcome back. The third annual Big Bacon Bonanza is coming up the second weekend of April. Ann Watchell is here with the details. We've also got last year's champ, Martha Cleveland, with the Blue Cat Brew Pub. Thank you so much for being here this Thank morning, you. both Thanks. of you. All right, so Ann, if you want to start off, what can people expect at this year's event? Well, it's going to be wonderful. Again, you know, every year we try and promote local vendors here in the Quad Cities. Um, we partner with them and try and introduce some kind of food, um, bacon-themed um, samples. So when people come, they buy a ticket, uh, they can go through the River Center and um, sample all the wonderful foods that are coming through there. Um, Danny Lynn Howe, her band will be there performing, nice. those of you that follow Danny Lynn. And uh, Diva Q, who has a show called Barbecue Crawl. Uh, folks that are foodies, I'm not, but I still <laughs> love Diva. She's our celebrity judge, and she's going to be judging a lot of the vendors uh, this year. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Awesome. Sounds like a lot of fun, and especially if you love bacon, right? Yes, that's well, right. Speaking of local vendors, the uh, Blue Cat Brew Pub, just down the street from our station. Tell that's us about right. the dish that won last year. Uh, last year I had a catfish a bacon bisque. Mm, and, I like the sound uh, of that. And you brought us some treats here this morning. What do we have I here? I did. Uh, we have a sweet potato and apple and bacon soup over here. Mm -hmm. And then I also made some beer, bacon, sweet potato buns. Ooh, those sound pretty good. So we've got a little dough in case you want to get your mitts in there and make <laughs> a little uh, oh, bun if you want. Yeah, I like the sound of that. Okay, <laughs> well before we do that, you've already told us about the celebrity guest judge mm -hmm. that you have coming. Um, tell us what happens if you win the event this year. This was our champ last year. What happens right. if you win this year? Well, we've uh, taken the event one step further, and this year, if if folks win, they can move on to the World Food Championship. Um, it's another whole level, um, and they will have a great time. And so we encourage folks that are caterers, um, again, local vendors, to come and really kind of share their food. It's a good way for the community to get to know them and for Churches United to raise some money for our own organization, which, of course, um, we have meal sites, food pantries, a domestic violence shelter, et cetera. Awesome. Well, I've been to the event before. I think it was last year. Great stuff. All mm -hmm. things bacon. <laughs> so, okay, Martha, you said you brought something here for us to get a little hands-on. If, okay. if you want to uh, mash up a little dough here, mm -hmm. All right. you can have uh, make yourself your own little So bun. you flatten it out. So you flatten it and out. And then how do you got, get to uh, this step here? We've gotten, uh, we've sauteed our leeks, onions, and uh, roasted red pepper, and then you mm -hmm. stuff a little piece of bacon in there. And wrap it up. And wrap it up. And then you throw this in the oven. And you throw it in the oven for about half an hour. And there you go. You All right, I'm definitely no nice pro little. like Martha, but I'll, <laughs> I'll taste a bit here if I can. Mm. Mm -hmm. Delicious, as is everything that you'll taste at this event. Again, they're still looking for vendors. And if you'd like to go as a guest, we've got some ticket information for you. It's April 9th from 4 until 7 at the River Center. There's an email there if you're interested in being a vendor, also a telephone number. If you have any questions, let me get to eating the rest of this. Let's take <laughs> it over to meteorologist Anthony Peoples. Anthony, you have to taste this once you finish over there. I definitely